It's amazing to see particles levitating like that. And for it to happen, DC high voltage is used to charge the particles. And AC high voltage trap the ions. Here's the experiment setup. On the top is the syringe pump that consists of a small DC motor that slowly pushes the sample liquid out of the hypodermic needle. Below that is the perforated aluminum sheet that is grounded. Inside of that is the ring electrode that will trap ions. On the left is the high voltage power supply from Spruce Science. The middle unit power the syringe pump. The right side generate AC high voltage at 60 Hz. For sample particles, I'm going to mix cornstarch with isopropyl alcohol. I will first demonstrate electrode spray ionization of the corn starch solution. High voltage power supply is used to apply 4500 volts to the liquid sample. The intense electric field makes dry and tiny particles that are electrically charged and that leaves a deposit of white powder coating on the perforated aluminum sheet. Let's get a closer look of the ring electrode. I changed the lighting in this clip so that you can see the tiny particles better. DC high voltage is applied to the liquid solution so electrically charged particles are continuously generated and that's the snowfall that you see across the screen. AC high voltage of 3 kV at 60 Hz is applied to the ring electrode to trap the ions that are coming through the perforated aluminum sheet. Over time, you will see accumulation of particles that are trapped inside the ring electrode. The working principle is doing half the AC cycle, the ring electrode will be the same polarity as the charged particles, so the particle will feel the repulsive force. In the next half cycle, when the polarity of the power supply changes, it will feel an attractive force. This periodic application of alternating repulsive and attractive potentials confine the charged particles in the volume of space. The particles are moving back and forth, but in the video, it will look like floating strings. All of this is happening in air, so that simplified the experiment setup. You will find several other ion trap demonstrations and most of them uses a wand to hand deliver the particles. This is the first video demonstration where the sample delivery is automated. Ion traps are widely applied in chemistry and physics laboratories. They can be used as mass spectrometers, storage devices, and as tools for precision spectroscopy and metrology. When I remove the alternating high voltage, you will see the particles fall immediately. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. For more information, visit sprucescience.com.